10, 10 a.m. Uh, Central Time, 11, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time back home in the great state of Michigan as I'm out here in Texas, Arlington for the last about hour and 20 minutes and then I'm going to leave here and head to the airport so I can fly back to my beautiful great state. Not that I don't like Texas, but, mm, you know, there's a little bit of ways that we handle things where I come from and the way that's like, especially like trying to get food and stuff around here, the way they rip you off. We have what we call Detroit Justice at home where if they treat us like shit over the phone, we literally will drive into the establishment and make it known that they're full of shit. In Texas, I did not do that, but there were several occasions when I literally ordered food. Like last night, I ordered me and Julie tacos and stuff. It's like a $50 for everything. And uh, they literally didn't bring us three tacos and the sides that we had they brought us like the 15 dollars worth of food so i called them and they were uh yeah so i told them you're lucky you don't live where i live because we have what we call detroit style justice when you dick us and it's not pretty so so if you're ever wondering what that means come to michigan come to detroit come to oakland county come find out we do things a little different in michigan um Let's see, although the people are very fucking friendly here, I'll tell you what, the Southern hospitality here, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Aside from the way they rip you off on food, the hospitality and the way people are, the friendliness of the Southern culture, holy shit balls. That is something I wish we had in Michigan. So if you come to Detroit, you don't get that friendly. <laughs> you know, you don't get not quite like that. So anyhow, getting past that. So we have a major, major, major problem here this morning. If we're looking, if you're looking for crypto to pump, Right now, the DXY, it could actually start to go somewhat parabolic if it breaks through this one barrier. If we break that 106.20 and hold it as support, as you see right now, we actually are. We are actually holding it as support. And if it continues to the next level and doesn't end up as like an M-topping reversal, if this bull flag plays out, look out fucking crypto because it'll do the same thing as it just did. So this next move would come from about there and it would get us almost to the top of this triangle, but just to move like that, because right now, here's the problem for crypto. If the DXY is putting in a bullish cup and handle, which I don't know how much more bullish you can get if you hold it on the uptrending support and get back into the ascending triangle and build that cup on the 106.20 support. That would be devastating. This would be absolutely devastating for crypto. So if you're looking for crypto to pump, you cannot have this play out. I want this to play out. I beg of it. I also beg of what I said earlier when I came on, that this is a bullish Gartley, you know, that could do something like that, could do something like this. That's what I'm looking for. So if that's the case, we come back to DGB and DGB had this parabolic spike like I always say, DGB is the one. I wish they had it on BitGet because DGB is the one that I would future trade. Because when it has these moves, you have to watch it, but they have these huge moves. So I, I you know, so now DGB is looking to break this uptrend at 1208 is your ultimate level. If it breaks that uptrending support at that support structure 1208, you do not have another support structure for DGB until 00986. Then that's legit, real fucking talk. Because if you break out of that short-term ascending triangle that we're in right now, it's a huge mess. So pay attention to that for DGB. For XDC, we bounced a lot actually, but now in the last like 16, 17 hours, we're starting to show some signs that this could be a head and shoulders pattern, a head and shoulders top and reversal. And yes, it came way up, it's trying to hold this, but if it does something like that, or even this drags out, comes here, maybe bounces back. That could create a head and shoulders pattern. So I'm watching that very carefully. It's been a nice, nice move up for XDC. But I wanted everybody to see because we do have, remember, it's so funny how these work. Everybody says, oh, the support resistance line don't mean dick. Really? Really? If you just extend this out, then that just basically hit that. And you've seen how it looked. It's got to go up a little bit because it didn't hit it 100. But look how close that came. Actually, that's too high. Nah, I can accept that. I can, no, I can't, because I use the other one as a support. One, two, no. There we go. So yeah, it showed you your upper resistance. So if it were to hold the 20 day on XDC, 
that's when you can get another spike up to there. But if it breaks this down and the DXY continues to pump, this is going to crash. It's just it, we're playing the DXY right now. XLM has broke down big time. We broke that uptrending support yesterday. I told everybody when we started breaking down, um, hopefully everybody's paying attention. Now, we could have a W reversal and come back up and retest the drop point, but it's going to be very difficult with that buying profile. That is a shit profile, and that's going to get everybody wrecked if it continues like that. And XRP, could we say that it's slightly ahead of XLM? Eh. To me, it looks like we're not ready to pump. It looks like this is a bearish continuation and the next continuous target should get us to about 35.90, 35.12, or 34.78. Just real talk, ladies and gentlemen. So if you break down the 20 day, that's your technical target. If you break up out of here, your technical target would get you to a retest at 38.46. Hit that motherfucking like button and do me a favor.